If fast bowling was an art, Malinga would not be the Picasso of it. He'd probably be Keith Haring or Banksy, a revolutionist. He took fast bowling from being a rigid, technical exercise to a DIY art in Sri Lanka. They said high and upright, he went flat and square. They said jump and freeze at the load up, he went rotating to the crease. All this to adapt to the sands of the southern beaches in Sri Lanka. The tactician in him has been visible ever since. Proving 4 in 4 wasn't a fluke. ICC Cricket World Cup 2007, Sri Lanka played South Africa in Providence, Guyana, where the man with the blonde locks became the first to pick up four wickets in four consecutive deliveries. When he ran in at Sean Pollock, the first of the four wickets, it seemed like Pollock was more concerned about saving his toes than his thumbs. He missed a mid 130k MPH delivery and was bold. Andrew Hall, who walked out next, had his bat low and ready to block the Yorker. Marlinger ran in and delivered it on the same line, but this time with a change of pace. Hall was deceived and he ballooned it to extra cover. Next was Jack Cullis, whose defences Marlinger knew weren't going to be easy to get through. He delivered it full length outside off, curving it away and invited Cullis to go for the drive. The South African was expecting a Yorker onto the stumps for the hat-trick ball, but here was a gift which he wasn't ready for. Kalis tentatively prodded at it quite late and nicked it to the wicket keeper. The only ball that Marlinga delivered with extra pace was the last one to Makaya and Tini, knowing that the tail ender stood no chance. Twelve years later, he repeated the feat again with more flamboyance and swagger. This time being the man to have picked up the most number of hat tricks in international cricket, there were not many tactics involved. With the new ball in his hand, he was just shooting Yorkers at the stumps. The Kiwis who were facing him knew exactly what was coming too, but those cannons at 90 miles per hour were simply unplayable. Just ask Colin de Granholm about it. The death over specialist. Malinga and Nuan Kulasekara pulled off the unimaginable at the World T20 Finals in 2014, restricting the Indian batsman to just 15 runs in the last three overs. Kulasekara later revealed that Malinga specifically came up with the wide Yorker idea and boy did it work teasing the outside edge. Malinga's bunny list has some big names Martin Guptil, Virendra Sevag, Gautam Gambhir and Sachin Tendulkar along with Shane Watson. But it was the way he kept picking up the lesser known Javed Omar of Bangladesh which showed off more of his tactical skills. Omar was dismissed by Malinga six out of the seven times the two played against each other and none of the dismissals disturbed the stumps. The Bangladeshi opener had a wall-like defence, so every time Malinga was up against Omar, it was either full or short, just on and around off stump and swinging away from the right-hander forcing Omar to play. Four out of the six times Malinga found his outside edge and the other two dismissals were LBWs, toying with the batsman. Sri Lanka vs England, the 27th match of the ICC Cricket World Cup 2019. Malinga had picked up three wickets at the top of the order and now had to send back the dangerous Josh Butler to put Sri Lanka in a comfortable position. Butler came in during Malinga's previous over and he had greeted him with two consecutive deliveries drifting down leg stump, a short ball outside off and a length ball onto the pads. He had already set up Butler with a false sense of assurance on his leg side dominance. The next over Malinga used a short mid on fielder to keep Butler guessing. He began with a Yorker, then banged one shot which Butler slapped down the leg side for four. The next one a quicker delivery full and straight with that straightish fielder in sight. The vacant onside field and the false sense of assurance. Butler did exactly what Marlinger wanted him to do. He played across the line, missed the ball and voila. He was out LBW with Marlinger winning the man of the match award as Sri Lanka won the game. Calm through the storm. CSK Shadul Thakur on strike, the IPL trophy on the line, the equation was 2 of 1 as Malinga ran in. CSK needed 9 off the last over and with no second thought, Rohit Sharma threw the ball to Malinga despite his previous over going for 20 runs. Only two men were placed on the ropes for the final delivery, a deep mid wicket and a long on. While many cricketing pundits would say go fast at the stumps or a wide yorker, the maestro knew a quick delivery might give Thakur the chance to use his pace. He bowled a slow ball straight at the stumps. 
To score two against it, Thakur would have to try a big hit or a tap and run which would only fetch him a single. Thakur opted for the big hit, missed it completely and was out LBW.